this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below with uh, nice issues well we're right here to fix that let me just first of all brush your hair and see if we actually do have lice okay because sometimes we tend to confuse the lice symptoms with other stuff for example have you been changing your hair care or skincare routine lately? Um, have you changed your diet? How about your laundry detergents? Are you feeling particularly stressed? Have them, have you been through some major life changes have you been sleeping poorly okay i see well let me check well that news you were right let me show you See here, this little uh, sensor, that's lice poop, which means that you do have lice in your head. But do not worry, we're going to take care of this today, okay? I'm firstly going to have a look to see where they are located and how severe the situation can be, okay? Oh no, you don't have to feel ashamed about having lice. It doesn't mean that you have poor hygiene. Everyone can contract lice very easily. Like even if you go to the mall, try on a bonnet that someone had tried before they had lice, then it's gonna be very easy for you to contract them, so you don't have to worry about that and I'm not here to judge. Even though I can tell you take care of yourself, so do not worry about anything. We're gonna fix this, okay? Well, there are lots and lots, honestly. The situation is quite severe, but you don't have to worry about anything, okay? We're gonna take care of this issue easily today, okay? So, now that I've stated that you actually do have lies, I want to see how they behave. So, I'm going to be using this magnifying glass and this light to just study them a little bit. And by doing so, I will know exactly which product to use to eliminate them, okay? I can also see that your scalp is quite irritated. Do you happen to scratch it a lot? I know, even though we try not to, sometimes we are not thinking about it, or whenever we're sleeping and then we end up scratching it, because I'm sure it must feel quite itchy. They're living their best life here, but not for long. Okay. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be using this little instrument right here, as you can see, to pick the eggs. So, once I remove the hex, the treatment I'm going to be applying later is going to be even more effective. Just like that. Am I hurting you? I'm trying to be as delicate as I can, but if you feel any pain, please do let me know. Now we're gonna 
apply the treatment. So I'm going to be using this product right here. Okay. And I'm going to be applying it onto your head. It's going to make an interesting sound. Don't worry about anything, okay? It's absolutely normal. just want to massage it into your scalp a little bit to maximize its effectiveness and make it penetrate more deeply into the scalp. Of course, I'm trying to be as delicate as I possibly can as your scalp is already quite irritated, so I'm applying just enough pressure to help the product get a little bit deeper but not enough to cause any discomfort. Alright. Let me see now how we're doing. Yeah, it's working. Some of them are dead already. Others are dying. Another will be dead soon. Very good. So what I want to do now is to use this instrument right here to remove the dead ones so that the treatment will once again only focus on the active one. rather than dispersing its powers onto something that's already done. Good. Right. Now I want to measure the pH of your scalp, okay? environment for them to feel very uncomfortable and die. Alright, let me just brush your hair again as you don't want to go out in public with your hair all over the place. So the remaining lice will die within the next few hours. My recommendation is for you not to wash your hair for the upcoming couple days just to make extra sure. Once you will wash your hair, you will feel they're quite dry. Your hair is on the scalp, so as you leave, I've already um, selected a couple products for you in order to reset the scalp uh, natural pH and help your hair feel good again. So it's not a permanent damage unlike the older scalp products, you know, nice products. This is not a permanent damage, just a couple uses of the products that I'm recommending and you're gonna feel great again, if not better, okay? You as well as your hair and scalp, of course. Thank you so much for visiting me and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! Hi, I'm Stormy and I'm your makeup artist, so... Can I look at your skin to study it? You told me you have a special event today and you've sent me an inspo picture that I 
loved by the way so as a grade you only have your moisturizer and SPF on perfect let's get started I'm just gonna gently wipe your skin with this glycolic acid toner just to remove any possible dust that Okay, and I'm gonna start with this primer right here. It's the next marshmallow primer. It's gonna be perfect to make your makeup last all day. I'm going to quickly warm it up in my hands. Okay, perfect. Now it's time to come back to the face. So I'm gonna be using this color corrector right here. This is gonna counteract any darkness underneath your eyes. You don't need much, just a little bit. And I'm gonna blend it with my fingers. So that I'm also gonna warm up the product and it's gonna melt into the skin more seamlessly. Okay, no time for concealer. I'm gonna be using this one right here. This has to brighten and conceal imperfections at the same time. is more lightweight and moisturizing so mixing them together is gonna give you the perfect and most natural look yet with a great coverage I'm gonna place it in the back of my on the back of my hand
Translucent. This is a translucent setting setting powder. I'm gonna apply it onto the face so that all the products stay in place. And it's also gonna help me redefine the counter that might have been lost a little bit in the foundation application process. Okay, now I'm not gonna let it bake onto your face for long as it could create a very heavy effect. So I'm gonna use this very fluffy brush. to remove it and it already did what it had to do alright now it's time to sculpt and bring the dimension back to the face so we're gonna use this palette to bronze and contour at the same time as it has several shades in it and I'm gonna be using a fun brush to apply that onto your face Is highlighter and you can tell from my palette look that this is my favorite one I'm gonna be applying this on you this highlighter is just amazing the way it glows it's incredible all right Time for some blush to bring back some life. I'm gonna use this technique where I'm gonna go with the powder blush first. very versatile with several shades that all match the vibe of the info photo you sent me. I'm gonna start with a fluffy brush to define the crease. If you can close your eyes please. Open for me. Okay, another little bit. Perfect. Now with this brush, I'm gonna start working on the mobile lid. Close your eyes for me. 
Mars. Open up, please. Okay, another little bit. Close. Open. Okay. I'm gonna change brush type. Um, I'm gonna be using this one right here. Here, I'm gonna be working on the outer corner. Okay, I need to close. And close. Look up for me. Look up. Okay, look straight at me. Perfect. Let's work on the lips now. I'm gonna use this pencil right here. Relax. amount of gloss. Relax. Alright, the makeup is completed. You can look at yourself in this mirror, tell me what you think, if there is anything you want me to modify or whatsoever. You like it? That's wonderful. Hi, I'm Dr. Tinglestorm and this is Charlie, your emotional support animal. And I am your therapist. So today Charlie and I will be listening to you and you can feel free to pet Charlie anytime you feel the need. Charlie is a certified emotional support dog. She knows how to listen without judgment and she knows how to lift off that heavy weight out of your chest by just existing. So, what made you decide to visit us today? Oh, of course, please pet her, yes. Yes, you can pet her anytime. She's a little bit hot today. So, what was the emotion? Okay, and since when have you been feeling like that? Oh goodness, okay. That's quite a bit of time. 
can you maybe identify a specific event where you really felt like this? Alright. Mm -hmm. It is good to go back in time and understand when everything had originated. So, are you feeling particularly nervous? Well, maybe, maybe you wanna squeeze these balls, okay? You see? They are Charlie approved. So, you can squeeze them if they help you feel better. You said that this emotion is frequently bothering you. Mm -hmm. And what was the most recent event where you felt that emotion? Alright. And on a scale from 1 to 100, how intense was that emotion? Okay, that was quite a lot. And what is the event that caused it? Mm. Let me just interrupt you for a second. I want to ask you were there maybe some vulnerability factors that were maybe making you feel weaker towards that kind of emotion like maybe you didn't get enough sleep you were studying or working too much you were starving okay because all these things have an impact on our emotional sphere so if there were one or more they of course must have had an impact on the way that emotion affected you. So now try to describe the event. I promise I will not interrupt you anymore. Sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So if we could analyze that a little bit, what were you doing? immediately before you can pet Charlie anytime what were you doing immediately before that? who did you see? how were you feeling? Mm -hmm. okay and what were your immediate thoughts while you were feeling this emotion because you know the emotion you're describing is a quite complex emotion and it's usually the result of a couple of factors combining together so perhaps um, there were some other emotions that built up until you feeling this way so if this were a movie scene and you were watching it as a spectator how would you describe it to someone who hadn't seen the movie? Okay... So, and if the main character of that movie was maybe your best friend or Sam, someone you really care for rather than yourself would those words and judgments still be the same or would you use other words to define the situation? that's what I thought so why do you think it's okay to say such things about yourself but at the same time you're immediately ready to justify and protect those you love if they do the same thing? 
you know, it's completely human to make mistakes. So we're not here not to make mistakes. We are here to understand our feelings towards the mistakes and modify our relationships towards the judgment. Okay? This is not something simple for sure. But now that you analyze this whole situation with different eyes, would you probably be able to express another kind of justification towards what happened? And yeah, please go ahead. Mm -hmm. And now, this justification that you said, there is no right or wrong, by the way, okay? I want you to know that there is no right or wrong here. So, my question is, this justification that you gave, does it change the final emotion a little bit? Would you think that the final emotion could maybe be dimmed a little bit? towards this new interpretation we're having. That's really good. That's wonderful. So I know it's not simple when you are in a situation to have all these um, tricks, you know, all this awareness and nobody's asking you to do that. But we want to change the mechanisms happening inside our brains in order for this to become a natural process, okay? And we do that towards the mindfulness, towards the being present here and now. I would like you to do a little mindfulness exercise with me today, okay? Good, let's try. I'm going to be using the singing bowl, okay? Charlie needs to inspect it thoroughly before we get started, okay? Am I allowed to use it? Thank you. So I want you to close your eyes and focus on the sound of the singing bowl. Focusing on your breathing, making sure it's slow and steady. And I want you to only be mindful in this moment. So forget about the past and the future. Just focus on the here and now. Good. If at any moment any thoughts appear, just be aware of them passing by, but don't focus on the thoughts and don't start giving judgments like I should have been more present, I'm not go doing good enough. Just forget about all this and simply come back to this present moment of mindfulness. Very good. You can now open your eyes. How was that? Great. So, of course, it's not something that comes easy. And it's wonderful that you actually acknowledge that you had a couple uh, intrusive thoughts here and there, okay? You did a wonderful, wonderful job. And I'm sure that you'll keep getting better and better. Thank you so much for choosing us today. And I will talk to you very soon. Bye.